a Halloween story that takes place one year before the incident. Cool straight jacket Halloween outfit son. Thanks dad. It's kind of uncomfortable though. Understandably so. So, what outfit do you think Daniel made this year? No idea. Who knows what he'll come up with this time. I know. I offered to buy him an outfit and he's like. My dad I'm good. Rewar. H -h 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 -h. I got ya. What about you Sean? You look ridiculous. Shut up. It's not like you look any better Sean. Alright kids. No arguing please. You're going trick or treating so cheer up. Alright alright. Come on Daniel let's go. Have fun kids. Be safe. Where shall we go trick or treating? There's a neighborhood that's supposed to be haunted that I know of, because it's right next to a graveyard. Let's go there. Yay yeah, let's go. It's really creepy here. I know. Do you feel alright being here or would you feel more comfortable turning back in Ano? I think we can brave it. We're goddamned warriors that's why. The best team in the world. Oh yeah I forgot you can't high five with that straight jacket on. What? You started laughing like the Joker, and it was creeping me out. Aw oh, come on I was just having a good laugh. I wasn't even trying to scare you. Like some big bros would. But I'm the best big bro, right? Sean I keep hearing noises. It's probably just your imagination. I don't think it's actually haunted here. It's just when you expect something to happen your brain makes things up. So don't worry. Thank you Sean. Shit I left the thing that will help me get out of my straight jacket later at the bus stop. Wait here, I won't be long. No don't leave please. Hey Nano, I'll be back in a flash. I promise. Just don't move from that spot. I'll be right back. Okay. It's definitely haunted here. I'm so scared. Come on Sean. Please hurry. What's wrong with somewhere being haunted? A H H H H H H H. Who said that? It was me. I'm literally right in front of you but you can't see me. Are you a good spirit? Indeed I am. A demon would say that though. Yes you are right. But I can prove I'm a good spirit. How? I know a lot about people because I see things. I watch people. With so much time on your hands there's nothing else to do. And I know that you love Choco Crisps, right? I do. I love Choco Crisps. Well, I can give you one of those. Please give me one. Well, I can give you one for a price. If you take the Choco Crisps, something terrible will happen next year on the month of October. Please consider the offer. Thing is, I like causing harm to people, but I don't want to be considered an evil spirit, so I offer people something in exchange, but they have to agree to my terms first. All right. I mean, honestly, how bad can it be? If it's for a Choco Crisp, it's probably nothing that bad. Seriously, though, you're going to have to really think about this before you make a decision. Think it through. If you want to go with the offer, then say trick or treat to seal your fate and create an intangible contract. Okay, then. I'm thinking about it. Trick or treat. Lol bitch you've been fooled. I'm not a good spirit. I'm evil laugh. You can take your choco crisp, but you won't have much fun next year. I thought that was already established. Anyway yay choco crisp. Hey Daniel. I got the thing back from the bus stop. Were you okay here? Yep I knocked on the door over there, and they gave me a choco crisp. Awesome Daniel. Let's go. LOL I love being evil. 